Hello everyone, welcome to PM Networking. Guys, today we are going to discuss EIGRP. EIGRP, right? Even you know what is EIGRP, how to configure EIGRP, right? But guys, trust me, you are going to learn something new about EIGRP in this video, right? So first of all, let me discuss some basic thing about EIGRP, just like EIGRP stands for Enhance Enhance Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. Enhance Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. Routing Protocol. Right. Point number one about EIGRP. Point number two, it is an open standard protocol, right? So we don't need to write this point over here, right? Keep in mind, EIGRP is open standard protocol. Or we can also say EIGRP is a hybrid routing protocol because it is a combination of distance vector routing protocol and link state routing protocol. That's why we call it is a hybrid routing protocol okay third point about eigrp is it is an advanced distance vector routing protocol you can also say that right it is a it is an igp protocol igp protocol what do you mean by this line igp protocol that means eigrp will work within as within as within autonomous system right within autonomous system EIGRP works within autonomous system okay so next point about EIGRP is fourth point EIGRP is IGP protocol IGP means within AS EIGRP will work within AS autonomous system after that EIGRP calculate metric on the basis of K values right k values and by default eigrp will use k1 plus k3 to calculate metric eigrp can use all k values right how many k value are there there are five type of k value right five types of k value k1 k1 is k1 is nothing but bandwidth bandwidth k2 k2 is nothing but load k3 k3 is nothing but delay k4 k4 is reliability reliability k5 k5 is mtu right so by default eigrp will use k1 and k3 means bandwidth and delay because guys understand k value there are two types of k value right k value two types of k value are there first one is fixed and second one is variable fixed means just like bandwidth bandwidth of an interface will be always fixed like delay delay of an interface will be always like fixed fixed but load can be vary right but load can be vary let you let me make you understand right suppose we have three router four router r1 r2 r3 and r4 okay just suppose we have four router over here and we have one prefix 10.0.0.0 slash 8 right so this router r1 is getting this prefix from two side from this side as well as from this side suppose this router will get list metric from this side right and we are using all k value to calculate metric but here here load can be vary right suppose now here load is list and after some time load will be list over here right load will be lesser than here as compared to here then again r1 has to calculate metric right so again and again when load will change right eigrp router have to calculate metric again and again right so that's why why uh, company is recommending why cisco is recommending to use k1 and k3 by default only right because k1 and k3 is fixed 
and load are variable right load can be very on link reliability can be very on link suppose i am sending 100 packet 100 packet from r1 to r2 but due to congestion on this link this router get received only 90 packet so if i talk about reliability so reliability is only 90 percent of this link right but if there is no load then definitely 100 packets will be reached to r2 right that means this time reliability is 100 percent of this link fine so reliability is very right variable right it's changing time to time so that's why cisco is not recommending to use to use reliability and load and mtu to calculate metric fine so by default eigrp use k1 and k3 to calculate metric fine next point can be next point can be metric formula of metric so formula of metric is simple 10 to the power 7 upon upon least bandwidth plus total delay total delay upon 10 whole multiply by 256 so this is formula to calculate metric in eigrp fine this is formula we will use to calculate metric in eigrp and if i talk about delay right so make entry in your notebook this as well for serial link for serial link delay is 20000 for ethernet link for ethernet link delay is 10000 right for fast ethernet link delay is delay is 1000 and for giga link delay will be 100 right so this all is in millisecond right millisecond and millisecond okay so understand how eigrp calculate metric just suppose we have three router r1 r2 and r3 and suppose here i am running one network which network suppose 10.1.1.0 slash 24 now r3 will calculate metric for this network right r1 will calculate metric for this network so here i am using link fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so what will be the bandwidth of fast ethernet 0 slash 0 let me show you in gns3 let me show you in gns3 let me open gns3 and let me show you let me turn on the device just wait so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right so guys you can see over here on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 what is bandwidth bandwidth is 10 raised to 5 and what is delay 100 right so i am using fast ethernet link over here right fast ethernet link over here so so r3 will calculate metric so what will be the metric to reach 10 network 10 network is directly connected to r3 right so metric equals formula is 10 to the power 7 upon least bandwidth now router router don't have any other bandwidth to compare list bandwidth right so router will use 10 raised to 5 bandwidth right so bandwidth of fast ethernet link after that total delay so de delay of this interface is 100 upon 10 and whole multiply by 256 right then what the answer you will get you will get 100 over here plus 10 over here and whole multiply by 256 whatever value you will get here right that value will be metric for r3 to reach in 10 network after that when i will enable eigrp on this three router r3 will share share this prefix with r2 right 
with which message with update message right that means r3 bills here one update message in that update message there will be information of this network right and r3 bills here bandwidth delay reliability load mtu right so with the help of bandwidth and delay r2 will calculate their metric to reach in 10 network 10.1.1.0 network so for r2 what will be the metric for r2 metric will be 10 raised to power 7 after that this order will compare right bandwidth of their on receiving interface and bandwidth which is coming in update right so here i am also using fast ethernet link right so here bandwidth will be again 10 raised to 5 so it will elect bandwidth as a 10 raised to 5 right list bandwidth always elect list bandwidth after that total delay so 100 delay this order is getting in update and 100 delay for this interface so total delay will be 200 after that 10 and hold multiply by 256 whatever value you will get over here right that value will be metric for r2 to reach in this network right then in the same way r3 will also calculate metric to reach in this network fine so this is metric calculation in eigrp let me discuss next next concept right guys these are the basic thing you already know in ccna right so eigrp support how many maximum path how many maximum path so if i talk about maximum path so by default by default eigrp support four path right but an eigrp router can support up to maximum up to 16 path but if i talk about cisco 15 version ios 15 version ios then it will support 32 maximum path right that means 32 path a router can can install in their routing table right how many path 32 parts if i am configuring eigrp on router where we are running ios of 15 version fine after that eigrp use multicast address which multicast address 224.0.0.10 this multicast address is used by EIGRP. EIGRP. So, what is the meaning of this multicast address? Let me let me make you understand first. R1, R2. Suppose I have enabled EIGRP over here. I configured EIGRP over here, right? And here I am running network 12.1.1.0/24. Just suppose, right? When I will run network command 12.1.1.0 and wildcard mask 0.0.255, EIGRP will enable on this, this interface, right? Once you will run network command, right? EIGRP will start sending hello to this interface, right? Hello or EIGRP any message, right? So actually what is happening over here? Once you run network command, this interface will join a group of which multicast of 224.0.0.9, right? Now, if I am running network command, that means that interface where the same network is running will join the same multicast group member, not 9, 10, right? 10. So, this order, this interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 will join this multicast group right and this order will send hello right and this hello message is received on which interface of r2 on this interface suppose this is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 but i am not running eigrp over here so this interface is not member of this multicast group right so if i talk about hello message right hello message so eigrp will generate hello message at layer 3 yes it is a layer 3 protocol after that layer 3 at layer 3 eigrp will hand over this hello message to ip protocol and ip protocol will add ip header in ip header source ip will be 12.1 and destination ip will be 224.0.0.10 right when this order will receive this update this order will check destination ip address destination ip address is multicast and now this interface is not member of this multicast group 
so that's why this water will drop this hello message but once i will enable eigrp over here right this group will also join this multicast group now this water will accept this hello message fine so this is the concept of multicast address right and what is the benefit of shifting sending a update to broadcast address to multicast address just suppose we have some router router number 1 router number 2 router number 3 and router number 4 and we are connected these all router are connected through one switch one switch here i am running rip here i am running eigrp here i am running ospf and here i am running eigrp eigrp now when this router will send hello message right that hello message is received by this switch and switch will forward to this router to this router and to this router now when this router will see in destination mac address destination mac address will be 224.0.0.10 but i am running rip over here so this interface is not member of that multicast group so this router will drop that traffic right but if i will use broadcast address then this router has to check information till till the hello message this router when this router will drop that message when this router will came to know this is a message of eigrp fine but if i am using multicast address then this router is drop this router will drop the traffic on this router will see in destination mac address is multicast that is 224.0.0.10 so we are we are what actually we are getting from here we are we are saving cpu cpu utilization cpu utilization so to reduce cpu utilization we save uh, update sending or broadcast to multicast fine this is the only concept this is very basic things about eigrp right now now let me discuss one more thing right it multicast address is and port number and protocol number which eigrp is used is 88 right 88 that means if an interviewer is asking you suppose we have two router router 1 and router 2 this router is sending a eigrp hello message eigrp hello message how this router will came to know this is a message of eigrp right so in ip header there is one field called protocol field in protocol field there will be value of 88 right so when this order will see protocol field at layer 3 and this order will check protocol number 88 then this order will came to know that this message is for eigrp right eigrp fine okay let me discuss some more thing about eigrp so let me first let me know how to configure eigrp So command is same, right? Suppose I am running 12.1.1.1 over here and 12.2 over here, and suppose we have network 10.1.1.0/24 here, right? So on router one, you have to run this command router eigrp. After that, as number suppose 100. After that, network command. So network. 12.1.1.0. After that, wildcard mask 0.0.255. That means this router will check how many bits. 24 bits, right? I am telling to router to check first three octet. After that, one more network command. That is network and 10.1.1.0. Wildcard mask will be same. 255. Fine. Now this router will start sending hello to this interface, right? And the in the same way you have to configure eigrp on router two as well, and to form neighborship between R1 and R2, AS number must be match, right? AS number must match, K value must match. We will discuss these things as well. Just let 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 me give you one more concept over here first, right? So now you are very clear that how a router will came to know that this is a eigrp message or this is a ospf message with the help of protocol field right now maximum hop count how many maximum hop counts are supported by eigrp router so by default 
again by default it's 100 and maximum it can be support 255 right hope count this is hope count fine after that after that next thing about eigrp is eigrp is a classless routing protocol eigrp is a classless routing protocol what is the meaning of classless routing protocol that means suppose i am running eigrp on this two router and i am here i am running Two network first one is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and second one is 1.10.1.2.0 slash 24 right that means when i will enable eigrp over here and eigrp over here this order will share this prefix this two prefix these two prefix with r2 now with these two prefix r1 will share subnet mask as well classless means Whenever router will share a prefix with their neighbor, it will include subnet mask in the update as well. But if I talk about class full routing protocol, so in class full routing protocol, this router will not share subnet mask. So how this router will install this these two prefix in their routing table like this 10.0.0.0 slash 8. Fine. By default subnet mask. Right, but in classless, it will include subnet mask. Then this order will came to know that no, this is not my network. My network is different. Right, 10.1.1.0 and 10.1.2.0. Fine. So this is classless routing protocol. The meaning of classless routing protocol. And suppose we have one more router over here that is R3. And here I am running one more network 10.1.4.0. And if I am running class full routing protocol then this order will install which routes this route right this route so when uh, in the in r2 routing table there will be prefix like this 10.0.0.0 slash 8 via r3 so whenever user will ping 10.1 that communication will not happen because r2 will forward that traffic to r3 right but 10.1 network is existing here right but r2 is forwarding traffic here right because definitely r2 will get get list metric from this side right and we are using class full routing protocol just like rip version one rip version one so in rip version one with the update with the prefix right router will not include prefix length so this order will install like this so this order is getting up up uh, prefix to prefix a single prefix from two side 10.0.0.0/8 and 10.0.0.0/8 right so from here this router is getting list bandwidth so this router will make entry of this path right in their routing table right so communication will never happen right so eigrp is classless routing protocol right always keep in mind that that means router will share router will share subnet mask with update router will share subnet mask with update right so guys next thing is about eigrp eigrp use it uses dual algorithm dual algorithm to calculate to calculate calculate metric dual algorithm right dual stand for diffusing diffusing update algorithm diffusing update algorithm now let's talk about some terminology of dual algorithm right so there are four terminology of dual algorithm four terminology terminology right first one is fd second one is rd third one is successor and fourth one is feasible successor 
feasible successor so what is fd fd stand for feasible distance feasible distance right and rd rd stand for reported distance reported distance and what is successor successor means best path best path and what do you mean by feasible successor feasible successor is your backup path backup path right so first let me talk about fd what is fd so guys fd is fd is total distance from source from source to destination from source to destination what is rd rd is distance from neighbor distance from neighbor to destination to destination let me explain with one example suppose we have some router r1 r2 r3 fine and i am running one network over here this is my switch network is 10.1.1.0/24 suppose okay so for r1 for r1 what will be the uh, fd fd means total distance from source to destination or source is r1 and this network is directly connected with r1 so r1 will calculate fd fd for this network fd will be your metric right 10 to the power 7 upon 10 to the power 5 plus total delay 100 upon 10 whole multiply by 256 256 this is your fd right so suppose i am getting fd 100 over here how many 100 just suppose just suppose i am getting fd 100 over here right so r1 will advertise this prefix to r2 as well right right now r2 will again calculate their fd so suppose r2 calculate fd and fd is 200 right what will be the rd for r2 the distance to reach in destination network from neighbor right so from neighbor distance is 100 so this this is 100 that is fd for r1 now for r2 this 100 will be rd right distance to reach in destination network from neighbor from neighbor right from neighbor total distance from neighbor to destination that is 100 right so for r3 suppose R three will calculate F D three hundred, F D three hundred, right? And what will be the R D? R D for R three will be distance to reach in destination network from neighbor. That is, F D of my neighbor. F D of my neighbor is two hundred, right? So it will become R D for R three, right? And what is successor? Successor is best path. Suppose we have to approach like this: R one, R two, R three, and R four. suppose i am using fast ethernet link over here and i am using serial link over here here fast ethernet link and here is one network 10.0.0.0/8 right now r1 will get this prefix from two side which one will be the best path from where this order will receive list matrix so definitely i am using here fast ethernet link here fast ethernet link so definitely from this side this order will get list matrix so this path will become successor this path will become successor and this path will become feasible successor but there is one feasibility condition there is one feasibility condition and feasibility condition is rd of feasible successor is rd of feasible successor is less than is less than 2 2 ft of successor to successor fd of successor right so if this condition will match then this path will become 
feasible successor feasible successor right so whenever my successor will goes down my feasible successor will become successor right the feasible successor will become successor so both part path will install in eigrp topology table but in routing table eigrp will install only successor right how many tables eigrp maintain three tables one is topology table second one is routing table and third one is neighbor table first one is neighbor table second one is topology table and third one is routing table fine so hope it's clear to you now let's me talk about types of messages in eigrp types of messages in eigrp so first type of message in eigrp is hello message second type of message is update message update message third type of message is query message right fourth type of message is reply message reply message and fifth type of message is acknowledgement message message okay guys this is eigrp series it will it will covered i will covered complete eigrp in in four to five video right i don't know how many video i am going to make for this playlist right but i will make four to five video at least right so in next video i will show you what will be the content in hello message update message query message reply message acknowledgement message today i am going to discuss what is the use of hello message update message and not query message and reply message i will discuss these three messages tomorrow in next video fine because if video length will be large then it i know you will not watch this video right you will not never watch right because it's very complicated very difficult to watch long video on youtube fine so what is the use of hello message hello message is used to discover neighbor used to discover neighbor and there is two use of hello message first one is discovering neighbor and second use of hello message is keep alive keep alive in next video i will show you in gns3 what will be the information will be there in hello message right what is the use of update message update message is used to update message is used to uh, share prefixes or you can say to share network information right with neighbor so this message is used to share network information information what is the use of query we will discuss in next video but today i am going to discuss something more important right guys see these three types of messages reliable messages right reliable messages remember tcp tcp is a reliable protocol right so if if any any protocol which use tcp at layer 4 that means that message is reliable because tcp build a logical connection before sending actual data right it will perform three way handshake after that receiver machine will send acknowledgement of after every tcp segment right after every tcp segment but eigrp is layer 3 protocol eigrp is layer 3 protocol so eigrp will never use tcp so how these three types of message is reliable right so guys here we are using one other protocol that is rtp protocol rtp protocol is responsible to perform these three messages reliable right these three messages reliable these three messages are reliable messages which protocol is responsible for that rtp protocol right rtp protocol is reliable rtp stand for reliable transport protocol reliable transport protocol this protocol will acknowledge that means a sender router who is sending update message right this router will expect for acknowledgement if a router is sending query message that router will wait for acknowledgement if a router will sending reply message that router will wait for for acknowledgement right so what is the use of update message 
to share network information. What is the use of query message? There are two use of query message, right? We will discuss these two types of uses in next video, right? And what is the use of reply message? We will discuss tomorrow. What is the use of acknowledgement message? We will discuss tomorrow, right? So guys, if you like this video, please hit on like button. And tomorrow we will also discuss what will be the content in hello message, right? What will be the content in update message? What will be the information in query message, in inquiry message, in reply message, in acknowledgement message, is and everything, right? So I am going to cover only four to five video in this playlist, and you will get knowledge at professional level of EIGRP. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks, thank you, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel. Bye-bye. That's all for today.